Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 42. The Tyrone Hill episode. <laughs> Shout out Tyrone Hill. This is Let's Try Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. So, hope you guys are well. Ready to check some more of this game out with me. We're in the Market Square. We, um... Really had a rough go of it last time. Fighting some rat swarms. I suggest checking that out. Oh, and then we kind of met these guys here. So let's see who we're talking to here. Grandma Gretlin, the director. Now look, it's not a demon at all. Greetings, kind friend and rescuer. I am Grandma Gretlin, theater director. And these are the members of my company. Rumbledum, the actor. Granny, that's not a ladle. That's one of the props for the Malevolent Lich performance. The one Tina made. It's a scepter or something. She made it out of my ladle. She wanted to use a broom handle, but I paid, put paid to that daft idea, says the dwarf with dignity. Oh, I've seen your show. You are very funny, especially your play where the woman slowly climbs onto the chair while singing and then falls off again. Ember claps her hands in delight. <laughs> well, it is actually a great tragedy about unrequited love. The chair you see, it represents a tower of rock rising up above the raging sea, like the finger of a giant. And the woman, she isn't supposed to fall, but rather gracefully cascade into the swirling abyss below, just like I showed her a hundred times. But I'm glad you like it. What were you doing down there? We were rehearsing. Our art distracts us from our fear and panic. The dwarf waves her ladle emphatically, doing a fair impression of a conductor. <laughs> really? When I'm scared, I eat. We tried that too, but our supplies ran out. But art, oh, art is eternal. Can you get somewhere safe? Oh, don't worry on our account. We'll be going to our basement in the next street. That's where our lambkin is. We're not afraid of demons with lambkin around. Lambkin? <coughs> lambkin, says the dwarf readily. Our male lead. He'll protect us. Don't worry. We know what we're doing. I have to go. Thank you again for rescuing us, stranger. Today you did a great service for Mendavian culture, and perhaps the culture of all Galarian. You will certainly be remembered in future eras as the one who saved the critically and publicly acclaimed next door theater. Huh. Really? I'm gone. All right, let's continue a little bit. Let's head up this way. If we see the map. Wait, what? There's loot left over that we didn't pick up. Oh, okay. No worries. Um. Let's see. Oh, we've got... Oh, what in the world? Oh, they're down there. Careful, they're climbing everyone. up. Ghouls, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're everywhere. Wide open. The inheritor, guide my blade. Attack. It's a little hard to get. Cover me, all right? Magdalore made a saving throw. Oh, down goes Magdalore. Cool dies. You guys, are you attacking at all? You're not even attacking. That's weird. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Surrender or else. Um. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, just a ghoul. Oh, down they go. 
wonder why the guys... Let's turn off artificial intelligence. Click to activate AI. You won't survive me. Critical hits. Your enemy ghoul landed a crit hit on the character Elzarian, having successfully confirmed it. Right, we know about that. Some weapons and effects allow the character to make crit hits with the d20 roll result less than 20. Such attacks do not hit automatically. Go over it anyway. When a character makes an attack roll and gets a 20 on a d20, the attack automatically hits no matter what the target's AC is. Additionally, such an attack creates a critical threat that has to be confirmed by making an additional attack roll. If the result is equal or higher than the target's AC, the character successfully lands <laughs> a critical hit, excuse me. And if it doesn't confirm the threat, you know, then... Just, uh... A bright future awaits us. It's just a regular hit. What's on at your that mind? point. I wonder. Let's see, let's heal Magdalar here. Ooh, did not get a good roll there. Four hit points, five hit points, okay, that'll do. Um... A zombie, no kidding. Zombies, zombie, zombies. Save the last one for me. Okay, how about mm, they're slow. There's a lot of them. Mm, I took a shot. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Can I go ahead and throw a grease? I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity probably, but There, Wolf. Slow your roll. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Oh. There we go. Okay, everybody. Um. Sneak attack. Nice, Magdalar. Attack there. Ember attack there. Oh, wait a minute. Some of the characters... AI yeah, was off, I think. So attack in here. Oh, a shadow! Two of them, no! Those things are terrible. Three undead. Okay, you guys come back here. Alright, take down the shadow. Okay, down goes the zombie, I think. Or did something. Strength damage to Alzaria, no. Magdalar, come over here. Sila. What is that? A lesser shadow? Oh. The light. Camellia. You. Attack you that one. Sacrifice. <laughs> so far, so good. Wolf's kind of hurting a little bit. Lan. Attack the Make shadow. Ember. Attack the shadow. Ah, uh, Wolf goes down. Okay, now we're being aggressive again, it looks like. Oh, son. Nice. 
Nightmare are dealing no damage to the shadow. Um. Nightmare. Can we take out these shadows? Ability damage. Sealer receives some ability damage. The bonus of that ability is reduced. Disease, poison, spell, and some other effects damage a character's ability scores, but not their health, reducing the bonus these abilities give. Every two points of damage inflict a minus one penalty to all skills and characteristics depending on that ability. Before trying to heal this damage, get rid of its source. Make sure that the disease or poison is no longer affecting the character. To cure ability damage, use a spell or spell scroll, scroll such as heal. A restoration lesser yikes um go for their hearts the inheritor guide my blade let me go ahead and do a shocking grasp as well we have not even damaged these guys very much. Magdalar, I have strength damage. Attack the zombie, Lan. Attack the zombie, the Ember. She's got to get up here and. Oh, she can cure light wounds. Um, do a divine zap on Shadow. <laughs> Magdalar takes a shot. I see another minus one strength on Wolgif. They're kind of rocking us. Magdalar deals seven of the zombie. Seven of the zombie. Um, Ember. Ember, go ahead and cure. Magdalar. One strength damage to Sila. Oh my gosh, these things are demolishing us and we still... Camellia. Get a plus one. Sing our... Oh, I just died. It's over. Wow, that was wicked. Those shadows just came out and rocked our world. Oh my gosh. So we have to take a better look at their character sheets and see what exactly is up with them. Let's head down this way actually and 17 coins, carved beads, Tian Shia ink, and a scabbard. the enemy little box 15 coins two carved beads five rusty horseshoes oh they're over there zombies will recruit so sweet it is to kill what is going on here yo look at that spell effect oh my gosh here comes another crazy battle No, wait a minute. Deactivate. Deactivate. Make sure everyone's selected. Activate AI. Alright, Sila. No glory without Magdalar. Attack that one. Elzerian. Attack that attack. one. We'll just come over here. Camellia. Come down here. Land. Attack You've that one. Ember. Okay, we'll just... We gotta start landing backstabs and stuff. There we go. Cover me, alright? Really? Wide open. No contest. Oh, look at that sneak attack. We'll just... Oh, he was going in for the... Second 
dairy kill right there. Lore of Religion, 14 DC. Camellia. Gray hair, ashen skin. This person fell prey to a Nabasu. This demon sucks the very life essence from its victims and transforms them into ghouls. Two coins in a mug and... Oh my gosh. Crusaders with Hecka loot. Heavy shield, a cold iron masterwork longsword, 200. Heavy crossbow, two potions, and half plate? You kidding me? Chainmail, light crossbow, a heavy shield, and a longsword. We're taking it all, but I don't know how much of this stuff we can actually carry. Wow. Crazy. We are at the heavy load. That's not good. And she's still got filth fever. It says permanent 1d3 days. She's got filth fever, two consecutive saves. Dexterity and constitution damage. Huh, it's not. Showing as red here. Weird. And it's permanent. <clears throat> okay, does she have her raven familiar out still? I haven't seen the raven. We'll make things right. Yeah, I guess it is out somewhere. There it is. Beautiful. Got all our pets with us. Um, let's see. Can... Would Wolgif benefit from such a sword? Or probably not. No, he can't even use it. The half plate, though. We have two of those. For 150 a piece. Bunch of cure potions. I think in order for our horse, for Magdalar to be able to use, um, potions, he needs some sort of belt or something. Cause that's, that's, I think how it was in Kang Mega. Radiance isn't the sword really to be using just yet, though. It is cold iron, so it's the same, actually. But it's not fully back to its glory yet. Silver ring. Chainmail, medium armor. Okay. All oh, right, we're heavy. Mm, minus eight hour fatigue or an eight hour fatigue period. Travel speed reduced, 67% travel speed reduced. Okay, um... Alchemist kit. Man, I'm just gonna have to... Head back to town. And, um, do some, do some selling. There's so many... I'm gone areas to check out here. Oh, there's Curl over there. Let's head down this way. It's okay that we're heavy. We'll figure it out. Can't get down there. Can't get over here. There's the chasm. Click up there, and I don't even know where they're moving. Oh, we can go up. Well, I'll be. Curl. A short hooded figure is poking about some bodies lying in the middle of the street. The stranger drags the first body off the road, respectfully props it up against the wall and places the corpse's hands on its chest. 
The figure then freezes as if hesitating and you see him reach out his hand toward the beautiful gold amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, and reaches out again. Hey, who are you and what are you doing here? The stranger almost jumps out of his skin and the hood falls from his head. Under a mop of red curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, phew! I thought you were demons! G good day to you, good sir! Sila's eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Curl, is that you? The halfling looks at Sila and smiles broadly. Oh, Lady Sila, you're alive! Goodness me, that's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day! What was the first bit of good news? Stick around and see for yourself. I know my accent changes mid sentence and all that, so I apologize. Um, do you know this person, Sila? Meet Rimvi, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights in the Condemned. He's one of a kind, a rogue with a heart of gold. Sila smiles and adds a little more seriously. Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you should ask yourself if what you are about to do is right. And the Condemned are is a military unit made up of petty criminals conscri conscripted as disposable soldiers and frontline fodder in the Mandavian Crusades. The halfling's cheeks flush and he hides his hands behind his back. I didn't. I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you tell me anything useful about what's going on in the city? I'm afraid not good, sir. I'm afraid not good, sir. I just left the defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there, too scared to leave. Although spending all that time under Commander Irabeth's nose... Sure was something. She's a strict one. Phew. And when she gets antsy. Don't even start. I've had enough of her breathing down my neck to last me a lifetime. So what are you doing here? Robbing corpses? No. The halfling protests. Rimvi Carroll may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get these poor lads' bodies off the road. My friends and I are on a terribly important mission, and we need to get through. is interrupted by the sound of wheels rolling on the paving stones. A cart drawn by a sad little horse appears from around the corner. A pretty half-elf is driving it and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tanned face and his blue eyes shining brightly. The halfling straightens up. See? A terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving a beer cart from the demons. <laughs> Elon of the Hound Hearts. As he's speaking, the newcomers notice you, and the knight cries out in jubilation. Sila! I never thought I'd see you again. I thought you were headed to the main square, the center of the demon's attack. Janet Altori. Oh! The half-elf smiles warmly at Sila. Hey, friend. Glad to see you're all right. When we got separated by the crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized that was the reason why I'd been so anxious. But I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so I kept my hopes up and I was proved right. Sila's face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news Carl was talking about. You and Janna are alive. Actually, by good news, I meant that we found the beer cart. Sir Eden and Janna being alive amounts to a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. A beer card? How about sharing with us? I'm sure we could all do with a drink. Jenna Eldori, the half-elf, winks rack rakishly. Certainly. Give me your flask, friend. And if you walk with us to the Defender's Heart, we can have a more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. Jenna, there's no need. The heart is very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off an attack if there is one. Besides, our friend here surely has better things to do. More important things than carrying barrels of beer, I'll wager. By the way, my name is Elon, Sir Elon of the Hound Hearts. Glad to meet someone who survived this madness. Ah, uh, you haven't told me how you know Sila. I'll save that story till we're back at the Defender's Heart. You're going there, aren't you? We'll have 
a reason to toast our spoils. Are you aware, Sir Knight, that your friend Carl was trying to rob a corpse? Elzarian, is that really necessary? Carl didn't even do anything. Whatever he might have been thinking, that's between him and his conscience. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. What's wrong with hearing the truth? I think Jenna and I have the right to know what our newfound friend is up to. Elon looks sternly at the cringing halfling. I am not your commander, Curl, and I can't punish you or even condemn you. I suppose lots of people in Mendev think the war justifies anything. But think about it. That dead fellow might have a family somewhere. His property and mementos should be returned to their rightful owners. They're bound to have sentimental value. They take this cart, for example. We might take it now, but once the city is freed, the Eagle Watch and the other orders will certainly try to find the lawful owners and compensate them fairly for their losses. Enough, friend. I didn't even do anything. I was just thinking about it. And honestly, I don't think we'll be even able to gather up all the bodies and hand them over to the Eagle's Watch. They'll be looted anyway. Well, that will be on the conscience of the one who does it. But you're a crusader, Curl. Though you might not have volunteered. Those who fight against evil itself have to be better than common folk with their moral frailties. I have to go. So long. We're sure to meet up again, either in the city or at the Defender's Heart. Sure you will. Come to the tavern. We'll celebrate the valiant rescue of this barrel together. Alright, we met Janet Aldori. I snitched on Curl. <laughs> we get to take uh, ooh, a citrine necklace and a bloodshot eye. Let's quick save. Area exit. Follow my steps. We can't get in there. Totally lost track of where we are in this area. Oh. Yet another obstacle. Oh dang. Back up. We'll just have you or zap you. Why not both? The spirits demand your blood. Ember fall back. Thank you. Aim carefully. Ember fire on that one. Or else. Land fire on that you one. Won't survive me. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Oh, Melia takes seven damage. We did 11 and 12. We'll just dealt 11. I guess Magdalar dealt 12 or something. Nice. Um, everybody it's attacked the ghoul. <laughs> they stood no chance. Yeah, we're at a heavy load, so we should probably wrap this up soon. This excursion. Maybe we can try to clear this map first. Lord Nature 17. We don't have a strong Lord Nature skill. Thanks, Lan. You're so These awesome. These corpses Lan. were nod to the bone by ghouls whose teeth were likely the cause of death. Use the trunk to cross the gap. You are so awesome, Lan. Well, we can go back there, but it's through this way. Oh, a Vermilek. What the heck is that? An Occultist Evoker. Vermilek, level 4 Outsider. Chaotic Evil Outsider. Long Sword at plus 6. 4 to 11. 1 to 8 plus 3. And a Bite of 1 to 6 plus 1. Abandoned Flesh. When a Vermilek inhabits a humanoid body, it treats the dead flesh and muscle as armor. Gaining a plus three armor bonus to its AC. As a swift action, a vermin can absorb much of that body's flesh to heal itself, regaining 2d6 plus three and losing the armor bonus. By the way, guys, we should start checking out these character sheets more because they have unique stuff. They, he has Inflict Light Wounds Mass. Wow. That has a max plus 25 to it for caster level. Oh, 
great fortitude, tough, demon of magic, acid coals, immune to poison, immune to electricity, fire resist, flesh armor, it's a chaotic subtype. Wow, okay. Um, I will help where I can. Seal is going to try to terrify it. Done, um, uh, made it shake it. Oh, oh, wow. This is not good. Let me quickly fling a grease down. damage to Sela. Sela is going toe to toe with the neophyte barbarian. It's only level no one. Without risk. You are today's sacrifice. Oh, he was all kinds of shaking and stuff. Land didn't take advantage. Endure this. Alzarian. Flare burst and all these fools. Um, Ember, shoot Too that one. For Tactical retreat. Oh, no. dang. Vermic dealt all kinds of damage. Inflict my wounds, mass. Sela goes down. Oh, now we're in trouble. Down goes the Neophyte Barbarian. No, now it does. Elzarian stuns the or flare burst them. Wolgif, attack this guy. Oh no, attack that one, okay. Everyone attack that one, but actually someone. Oh, spell resist. Your enemy Vermlick avoids the negative effects of your spells because of their spell resistance, even though he did it. It's a rare ability that can be acquired through some spells and equipment. Most demons have spell resistance. If a creature you're trying to cast a spell on has spell resistance, then to cast a spell successfully, you must make a caster level check, 1d20 plus your caster level. For the spell to work, your result must be equal to or greater than the creature's spell resistance value. Spell resistance works even against the beneficial spells cast by the allies. To overcome the enemy's spell resist, you should give your spellcaster the spell penetration feat or improve your spells with meta magic. If an enemy's spell resist is too high, don't waste spells with them and attack by other means. Land, focus on the verm leg. Ember, focus on the verm leg. Um, Magdalar. Boom, son. We'll just de dealt 18 damage. Vermlek, we'll just attack just here. Magdalar is down. We'll attack here. Um, who else is left? Elzarian's right there. Let's see if he, if I can go toe to toe. Forwards. Let me go ahead and drink a potion though. Camellia is down for the count. Go Ah, oh, Wolgif goes down. Is anyone standing here? Alzarian is. Alright, I healed. Let me go ahead and do a shock and grasp. Um, spell combat. Well, let me make sure that's turned on. Ah, uh, spell combat. I don't know why I didn't have that on. Arcane Accuracy. Let's cast Arcane Accuracy quickly and then do a... Yeah, we can get pretty... Pretty good. Did he cast it? Did I attack with it?
It just died. What a... Doesn't even say... Anyone dealt any damage. Huh. I have no idea how it died. Did I... Maybe, um... Make a coup de gras or something? Well, we're gonna win here. Potentially, if this probably doesn't get up and start wrecking shop. There we go. We dismiss the spell. Whew. Tough little battle. We've got a hide armor. We've got a great club. Heavy crossbow. Dagger. Another armor. A long sword. A scroll of grease. A scroll from flick light wounds. Light crossbow. And a punching dagger. Barbarian had a great club and hide armor. And flick light wounds. Light crossbow. Punching dagger. Crazy. Use the tree trunk to cross the gap. Alright, let's quick save. Um, yeah, we're in bad shape. Especially to be heading over here. There's a door into a house. 70% chance to pick the lock. Here comes Wolchiff. Pretty good, aren't I? Eight coins, light crossbow, a short sword, and a rusty horseshoe. We are, we have a lot of map left, see that's the thing. I don't know if like, heading this direction. Tiger adopt, what? We can adopt Tiger? Oh my gosh. What I'm gonna do though is everybody we drink some potions and stuff. Camellia can cast uh, Cure Mutter Wounds. But Sila. Sila can lay hands on Magdalar. Wolduf can drink. Oh, he has no potions to drink. That is not ideal, sir. Wolduf needs a potion. Um. Alright, just do type. Instead of ear piercing scream, land an ember. Oh, ember's little heart. Wolf dealt the sneak attack. We know about sneak attacks. Wait, is a is a fight going on? Ask nicely. No, we're all we're all gathered up here. Yeah. Let's head out. For home, like as one, but um, uh, she has cure spells, so cure Magdalar, cure Wolchif, cure Camellia. Actually, Camellia, drink a potion. All right, that should be good for now. We can get by on that. Um, maybe we won't go in the house just yet. Let's go up a little bit here. These people were not killed by demons. Their mortal wounds were inflicted by ordinary weapons. Uh, adopt. 11 coins, two slimy skins. 13 coins and an old smoking pipe. Dot Tiger. Received item Tiger. Hmm. Oh, 
Baphomet's flame blade. Oh my gosh. Let us be careful. The rift in the earth led by Takari. Discari's massive scythe. You and your companions fell through here during the attack. Uh, let's check out what Tiger is. What's that? Battle axe. Tiger summons a pet cat. Cat's frail instincts provide a plus two morale bonus on perception and lore. Nature. Huh, who's our natural lore? Is it Camellia? Lore nature plus three. No, it's Sela, right? Lore nature plus five. No, it's Lan, right? We'll give the kitty to Lan. He needs something to put on this bar that's more useful um there we go another pet animal we have a bunch of them awesome let's come this way more I know we left a graveyard full of zombies back there but all the better to come back later for oh Hear me, take heed. The hordes of the abyss march on Canabras. The wardstone is their target. They may not be allowed to capture it. The consequences will be disastrous. Oh, what was that about? With the herald or something? Into the temple of Desna. Oh, Desna is my patron deity. Or just deity. Loot to purifying solutions. So the fact that we're at heavy, I mean, is it means that we should probably either get back and sell this Tread stuff lightly. or just ditch it entirely. Some of the heavier stuff, I mean, and get to a more reasonable. Oh, perception checks are failing. Wow, everybody's perception failed. Oh my gosh. There must be something pretty cool back here. Wait, let's see if I can cast Our Guidance. It's an ability, right? Guidance. I don't know who's got the perception. Wolf. He should be able to re-roll or something. I don't think it matters. I know in Kingmaker, if you altered your bonus in any way, you could retry, like... The fact if you had Guidance or something, you had a new plus, a new bonus, you'd be able to re-roll it. But whatever is there... Is beyond us right now. Huh. Oh boy. Count Arande's servant. Uh, thank the gods. I found someone who wasn't fleeing in a panic. Are you cr crusaders? Mercenaries? The comely half-elf is so frightened he can barely get the words out. I am a servant of Count Darren Kale Nevis. Arende, my lord's mansion is under attack by demons. The master himself and all his guests are trapped inside. And the house guards are nowhere to be found. I managed to escape through a servant's passage to look for help. Will you help me? The mansion is only a stone throw away on the next street over. He meets your gaze with pleading eyes. Count Arende, I have seen him a few times before, from afar. He looked highly audacious. I confess that he did capture my attention, but that's neither here nor there. We should help him. The gratitude of a rich and influential man can only benefit us. 
succeeded, succeeded at knowledge world check. You've heard about the Arende family before. This wealthy and noble Mandavian dynasty was almost wiped out by demons more than 10 years ago. The last surviving member of the family, the young Count Darren, has an infamous reputation. He is well known for being a rake and a rogue. Misfortune continues to dog the house of Arende, I see. The servant cringes. You're telling me? Everyone tried to talk me out of talk taking up the position, saying that it can't just have been bad luck that brought tragedy down on the family and almost killed off the line. But I reasoned that since my master was the only one to survive that calamity, that man he must be blessed by fate and the powers of good. The pay was nothing to sniff at either. The servant casts his eyes around the street. I should have listened to people smarter than me and gone to work somewhere else, preferably far away from Canabras. Tell me more about what happened. I'll tell you what I can. I was working from dusk till dawn and back to dusk again, serving guests at the Count's banquet. When the other servants came to relieve me at my post, I went to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up and there are demons inside the mansion. I couldn't even reach the Count. The monsters had blocked the way. The Count's banquet was still going on. He and his guests were in the Great Hall, and as far as I could tell, the door to the room was sealed, and the demons couldn't get in. I'm begging you, hurry! The mansion's doors are sturdily built. The demons will have to work hard to get past them, so you still have time to rescue the people inside. Alright, I'll help. I'll help. Where's, this master? Where's your master's house? It's not far at all. You're better off entering from the next street over, though the passage I used to get out. Help, I'm begging you. I hate to think what the cat will do to me if I don't bring back help. Arende Party House has been revealed. Okay, let's take a look at where that is. Temple of Desna. We didn't go in any of these places. It's such a huge map. Bro, oh, I don't know how we can get there to help you, though. What did that person say? We have to hurry, but we're no, no position to hurry being over encumbered and stuff. Oh, there's a stranger again. Judging by the size of the blood stain, the body of something truly enormous was dragged over these stones. Terendalev, most likely. Oh. Now, what is that? Prentice lockpick, nice. Incense and three shining scales. This is where Discari and I. Whoa, there they are. I don't know, the fact we're playing on core rules makes this pretty difficult to actually Together, get. Together, we stand. To make like a ton of good progress. Let's shake this flame blade. Let us bide our time. And let's demoralize Baphomet Cultist. And have Lance I'm start shooting ears. the cleric. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. And have. Ember, start shooting that cleric. The heartbeat quickens. Divine favor. Oh wait, we'll just get back here. Let them come to us. Ah. Man, oh, you almost killed them. Ah, uh, Sila, come the here. Old Jeff, get out of the way. Time to Attack there. Magdalar. Charge. Uh, here. Path of the target is blocked. Oh boy. Um, land. Poison. Your character Sila was poisoned, affected with the condition Stinking Cloud. Poison is a malign condition that harms you every round. 
and usually works for about six rounds. You can get it from Venomous Creature, Gas Clouds, and some spells. The most common effect of poison is ability damage, so before curing the damage, make sure you're no longer poisoned. You can remove poison either by waiting until its effect ends, or with a spell like Neutralize Poison, needs a caster level check to succeed or heal. Before fighting a Venomous Enemy, it would be wise to cast the Delay Poison spell. Uh, this is not looking good already. Ember, uh, Fire on the Cleric. We'll keep her point blank shot on too. Actually use Slumber. On, oh it's a Dretch. On the Flame Blade. Wolgif. Cover me, Attack right. the Dretch right there. Uh, Alzarian, get up here. Channel negative energy. Yeah, we are outmatched. Ember, Camellia. Camellia, you've got to get up there and do something. Wow, he took down the cleric. Magdalar did. Oh, took out another cleric. Wolgif. Attack the fighter. Seela attack the fighter. Uh, Zarian attack the dredge. Land. Fire on the cleric. Camellia, get up here. I'm not nearly rich enough. I'll cut you wide open. Wait. Oh, we already cast Cure Moderate. I mean, I haven't been casting a lot of our spells and stuff, like just been winging it. Oh, we'll just goes down again. We have so much ability damage that we have to deal with. Look at Magdalar just cleaning house. With that cultist. Land. Endure this. Is everybody fighting? Camellia. You are to be sacrificed. Look at Magdalar. Just being a beast. Go for their heart. Alzarian. Magdalar's gonna try to take down that guy. Let me he's attacking me from a range with his like greatsword or something. Was short range. Let me um try to demoralize him again. Ah, uh, I'm go down. No glory without me. I'll cut you wide open. There we go. Oh, Magdalar. Rocket ish. It wasn't pretty, but gets the job done. We've got a scroll of resist electric. We've got a masterwork glaive, a dagger, and an unidentified half plate. Half plate plus one. Half plate plus one. Oh my gosh, on the Baphomets peeps. Masterwork glaive, scroll of protection from law. Divine Favor, Inflict Sirius, Javelin, Light Mace, Leather Armor, Scale Mail, Inflict Sirius, a Dart, Inflict Water, and Protection from Law. My goodness. We are picking up so much stuff. And we're so slow right now. 11 gold, 3 coal, a bottle of oil. Look at us. And we're all racked with like, yeah, party encumbrance. We're racked with ability damage, I think. No, we don't have ability damage. We just have that filth fever. I don't know why we thought, oh, Bane. Some peeps got Bane. Fills your enemies with fear and doubt. Each affected creature takes a minus one penalty on attack rolls and saving throws against fear. 
Wow, okay. Um, I don't want to fight this guy right now if he's around. What do we have here? It's hard to believe that this place recently had a bus held a bustling and festive market. Yeah, it was pretty wild, bro. But we've got to, like, first of all, Sila should put on the half plate plus one. I think that's going to benefit her greatly. And that stuff is worth four thirty-eight a piece. Yeah, but it takes flat footed up one, but touch down one, I think. Let's see how that worked. Where was that? Man and mail plus one. Yeah, it takes touch up to 12, but flat footed down to 22. Honestly, she's almost better with the banded mail because while the flat footed goes up, her touch is so low that she needs all the touch defense she can muster pretty much. Yeah, we're super encumbered. We're overloaded. Let's go from weight and sitting on her small bag of holding. We just gotta drop stuff that's not worth much. It's really these armors that are killing us. These are worth three apiece, the leather armors. We could probably drop. Like. Stun another worth six. Two leather armors. We could drop them. Now we're not overloaded at least, so we'll just try to eke our way back to um, an area transition to where we could actually just, yeah, max dexterity bonus. Yeah, see, it limits our dex bonus AC to zero, but yeah. Um... Oh, we have to go save that dude. Two edible boss, three onions, two bits of spices. He said the street over, but I have no idea where that is. So we're going to be here a while and just looting away. A midnight bolt. The owner of this bolt can shoot it to deal 50 points of damage that can't be ignored or reduced. The bolt cannot miss. Holy cow. A dueling sword, light base, six coins. The street over must be this street right here. Let's see how long we've been playing, though. 58 minutes. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta call it here. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, there comes a rat swarm. Let's head out. Um. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button or leave me a comment or both or neither. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, those are just ways to let me know that you want to see more. Thus, more will get made. And, uh, spoiler, more is going to get made because I'm really into this and I love playing it with you guys. So there's that. And yeah, we'll jump into this next time and try to find this master's residence. This, um, Darren, uh, whatever his last name was. And, uh, yeah, much more. We'll explore. We'll try to sell stuff and maybe buy some good equipment as well. Lots of fun still to be had. So come on back for more. See you guys then. Until then, be well, live well, stay well. Much love, peace, and joy. And if you're new to my channel, welcome as well. And feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And ciao, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.